The final thing that we need to do now is we need to build out our scene so that it can run in a browser. So first of all, let's go to file and go to build settings. In the build settings, we want to change to WebGL. Select WebGL, click switch platform and wait for Unity to finish. So when Unity is done, let's add our current open scene and go to our player settings. Right now, we only have a very few WebGL templates. We would however like to use the WebGL templates that come with the WebXR exporter from the Panther. So if you go to window and you go to WebXR, there's a button called copy WebGL templates and continue. You might need to reopen your project settings as I just had to. And you can see here now we have the WebXR templates set up. I found that the WebXR 2020 works fairly well for exporting and there will be a full screen button located here. Set up your company name and all of that stuff that you normally would need. If you run into the issue where you see Unity just halting and not loading the rest of the scene, it might be because the export that you did doesn't support compression. The setting is always enabled as a default. Before we build, go into Unity. So if we go down here to the publish settings and you look at compression format and it's set to anything other than disabled, it might break your build. And you might run into this issue where Unity just halts loading. So click disabled in the compression format. Another thing that we need to do here in the player settings is we need to go to the XR plugin management and for web, we need to enable WebXR export. If we don't do that, we'll just get a very static flat experience and won't be able to jump into VR. So now let's try to build it out. So now with everything built out, we should be able to go to the website. We should be able to see our scene, the frame counter. We should be able to grab the WebXR specific objects. However, not the VRTK one that is only grabbable from the VR headset. And if we click the VR button, we should jump into VR. And because I don't have a VR headset connected to my computer currently, I of course can't move around. Let's try to jump into the Oculus headset and see how this works. So here inside of the Quest headset, you can go to your browser. So inside of your menu, you should be able to go to the web address that we just made. As soon as it is done loading, it should show you the scene just like in any other browser. And you should now have the ability to click VR down in the lower right hand corner, which should put you into a complete immersive VR. So right now I have full control over hands. As you can see, I can grab these boxes from the WebXR plugin. I can also grab the boxes that you see from VRTK. The custom functionality that we set up, so I'm gonna use my thumbstick to move around back and forth, left and right. And it, of course, if I move forward and I look in the direction, I will of course also be moving in that specific direction. And I can now get my teleporter so that if I let go, I will be teleported to the destination where this pointer hits. So one thing that you need to note regarding playing back WebXR content is that it needs to be run on a server, a web server. So either an NPM install or a SAMP MAMP WAMP server would, would be something you need to be able to play back. And that's basically it. Running in a browser, playing with VRTK, exported through WebXR. I hope that you can build something cool with this. And thank you for watching everyone.